What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and what is this witchcraft and sorcery? Tomcat is playing Gran Turismo. What are we to do? He's gone to the dark side. But no, um, I, so basically I just received, um, Gran Turismo 6 and it's been my first time back into the GT series since GT4. I've been doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of warming up. I've done, um, some of the novice stuff, and then some B-class stuff, did some go-karts, um, got a few cars in my garage now, I've got a, uh, let's see, I got a Honda Fit, I got a Alpha Mito, a Toyota GT86, and a, like, beginner level go-kart, so, um, pretty decent garage already, I wanted to kind of build it up a little bit, and also get some cash before I, uh, before I, you know, kind of brought you guys into my little GT world, but, um, let's go ahead and go straight to the, uh, to the National B-class events, and do a couple of races here, and then, uh, let's see what else we can unlock, see what else we can do. So, I'm thinking, I've already, I've already done a bunch of the go-kart races, and I've already kind of aced them, but I'm really wanting to go back and show them to you guys, because, damn, they're fun. They're so fun. I really, really, really enjoyed them. So I'm gonna go back and do my very favorite, my most favorite, uh, go-kart track in the game, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely freaking love this place, it is so awesome, it's so cool, so cool, um, I'm, I'm kind of in, I guess you could say, like, a honeymoon phase right now with this game, because it's, it's like, it's like finally another console simulator that's, that's not Forza, and I'm really getting into it, I'm really enjoying myself, really getting into it, um, really in, getting into the game, and, just having fun with it, man. Just having a lot of fun with it. Go! Ooh, don't want that view. Want this view. Absolutely. Only one gear in these things, but it's one hell of a gear. Whoa, God. Ugh. Break, break. There we go. Accept power out. Can't speak for some uh, for some reason. I was like, accelerate, p -p -p power out. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Sticky walls. I'm gonna restart. I I, went, I ran into that problem the first time I did this, too. Um, just when I was kind of running through uh, the first few stages of the game. I was getting into it, I was like, yeah, I got this, I got this, and I hit that sticky wall. And that wall was like, no, sir. You've been denied, sir. No, you are not allowed. You are a noob to GT. And whoa! Break. Kind of wide, but that's all right. That's all right. We actually kind of passed. We actually passed the dude in that corner by going wide. Dang, I want to do that. I want to race these online so bad. I want to get um, Gunner four five six eight in here, Mr. Devil in here. Um, I want to get a bunch of my friends in here. And just have epic go kart races. That would be so awesome. I mean, to me, this is like a realistic Mario Kart track. Absolutely love this place. Breaking hard. A little bit harder than I should have. And I actually kind of kicked the tail end out a little bit, which was fun. I, but it's kind of scary in in, uh, in these little carts because you don't really want to kick the back end out just because of how sticky they are. Because once you kick it out, they have a tendency to whip on you. Either whip or just plow in the same direction that they were originally going. Let's see if we can improve our lap time by at least a little bit. Need to be a bit smoother. There we go. A little bit of oversteer on the exit, but not bad. Messed up my steering angle. Oh, jeez. Still not used to this handling model. I mean, you guys know, I'm a long-time Forza player, and adjusting to GT um, has definitely been um, quite an interesting experience. Let's just say that. Quite an interesting experience adjusting, having to adjust to a new handling model and a new controller is, um, quite, uh, let's just say it's a bit, uh, it's a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. Although, it's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, I thought it would end up being quite a bit harder than, um, than before. Like, I, I just, I don't know. When I, when I first booted up the game, I was thinking in my mind, like, oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be really hard. I'm gonna have a really hard time with this, but... I don't know. I w when I got actually got into the game and kind of kind of settled down with the controls and just kind of learned them on the first race. After that, it just became 
really nice, really flowing. It was just, it was just really cool, to be honest. Now, where do we want to go next? We got a bunch of stuff we could do. Let's see. Freshman Cup, 400 PP, Clubman Cup, City Trials, FR Challenge. Hmm. What shall we do? Um... I'm not sure, actually. Let's look at the, um... Let's look at the five-minute races. Let's see. A series of races with five-minute time limits. The final standings will be decided based on who crosses the line in first place after the time limit has elapsed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sukuba. Circuit. Ooh. I'm probably not going to pronounce that right. Circuito di Roma. Um, yeah, I've, I've pro I just butchered that. I just butchered that horribly. Um, I'm, mm, I'm seeing a Miata here, so I'm thinking my GT86 should be able to compete here. Let's do, uh, let's do Autumn Ring first. Change car. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this should work, absolutely. In fact, we might actually want to go upgrade it just a little bit. I don't know much about the upgrading system in this game, so, um, actually... No better time than no better time than now to actually check it out. So let's see. Um, custom parts, tuning parts. Let's go to the tuning parts. Uh, let's see. Tire suspension. Welcome to GT Auto. Just leave your car here with us, and we'll take care of any tuning or maintenance. So you expect me to trust this random dude that I just met with my prized Toyota GT86 or whatever other cars I end up getting? I'm not so sure about this. Nah, we're fine. We're good. Uh, let's see, we got... This is the tuning shop. I noticed. I noticed. I should probably read off his dialogue in a different voice. Um, trying to think of what would be proper here. Or, I, I, it would either be something that would be proper, or something just horribly wrong. Um, if you're looking to improve your car's performance, you've come to the right place. Let's see. If you're looking to increase your car's top speed and acceleration, improving power-related parts is a good starting point. To improve cornering speed, changing tires can pro bleh, provide a quick and easy fix. And that doesn't- that voice doesn't fit him at all. But you know what? Screw it, because I don't care. Uh, oh, um, powering up a car will increase its PP, but be careful. Some races have a PP limit and restrictions on the types of tires that can be used. Customize your vehicle exactly the way you want it. Okay, I'm good to go. Let's see, tires, suspension, drivetrain, power, body. Let's do some suspension. Uh, actually, no, you know what? Let's do power first, and then do a little bit of suspension work. Um, stage 2, stage 3, sports computer. Oh yeah, we could put NOS in this thing. Let's do, uh, let's do actually a stage 1 engine kit. And that brings us to 419. Stage 2 is 427. And stage 3 is 437. Let's do a stage 2 engine package. And then for our intake and exhaust, let's do... Um... Let's do a straight pipe. Brings us to 438 and 251 horsepower. Yes. And then, let's see, where, where are we going? I didn't mean to back out right now, where are we going? Where are we going? Um, okay, let's see, suspension. Or, suspension or tires? Suspension or tires? Ah, uh, suspension. Uh, let's see, racing suspension, soft, hard, rally. Uh, let's see, height adjustable, fully customizable, don't have enough cash for that. Um. Uh, ooh, brake kits. Racing brakes don't have enough. Let me actually check the tire prices. Uh, oh, not bad. Okay. Comfort hards. Okay, they don't actually do anything to the thing. Okay, wait, no. Racing. Here we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sports. We have sport hards on the on here now, but we can't... We don't have enough cash for any other upgrades, so... Thinking we might have to go out there the way we are right now. Let me look at the body stuff, though, just real quick. Um, we could, okay, so it's weight reduction. And actually, if I back out of that, we should be able to see, like, the custom parts, like, for wheels, aero bits, that kind of thing. Oh, 
Here you can fit external parts and wheels of various styles. Enjoy customizing to your, uh, to your cars to your heart's content. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, wheels, arrow parts. Let's let's get some wheels on there. Uh, let's see. Up one inch. Let's actually go up one inch to 17s. Actually, no. 17s. It would be, um... Why did I say 17s? It would be 18s. Yeah, it would be 18s. So, what do we got? Um, um, a lot of nice wheels in here, actually. A lot of nice wheels. Maybe once we get back. Ooh, OZs. Um, let's try, let's try these Motegi racing rims. Oh, those are nice. Those are legit. Those are really legit. The Mo uh, Motegi Racing Toges. Those are really those are really legit, actually. Um, OZ Racing Italia 150. Eh. Uh, OZ Racing Botticelli 3. Those are nice. Those are real nice. They're, they're a bit pricey, but they're really nice. Um, let's see. Oh, Rays. Oh, man. Pro Drive. Um... Not interested in the pro drives. Raise 57 gainer. I, oh, that matches so well. Um, I think that might be uh, that might be it. That might be what we'll go with, because that matches the car so well. Uh, yes, yes, I'll purchase. We're gonna get a cutscene for this. <laughs> We're gonna get a cutscene for installing wheels. Ooh. Damn, that looks legit. So good. Woo. Oh, man. That is my baby right there. Look at those exhausts. Dude, look at those exhausts. Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. We're going to go race. We're going, we're going to race. All right, let's do autumn ring first. Two laps, autumn ring. Let's do this. Now we've upped the horsepower to, if I remember correctly, about about 250, give or take a little bit. Um, we got awesome new wheels on the car and um, a new exhaust system as well. So a little bit of upgrading. Didn't really do any actual tuning, but um, like as in tuning the suspension or anything like that. But I don't really have the necessary parts to do that yet. Ooh, we get. Wow, we get 8,000 credit, or nearly 9,000 actually for winning this. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, this game has been giving me, like, better and better rewards for each race, and it's really quite nice. They give you a lot more cash than Forza does. Not bad. I'm liking this performance quite a bit. Ooh, I went wide. I went wide. Thing is, I came in... I came into that corner a little too hot, though. And it oversteers a just a little bit on corner exit, just the way I like it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Civic. Sorry. Power out. There we go. Ooh, a little squirrely under braking. That wasn't the car, though. That was me. I was the one squirrely under braking, not the car. Whoa. Little squirrely on the exit, but I love it. I love that handling characteristic because you have to catch it. Makes the car more exciting to drive. Should have stayed in second. Really should have stayed in second. I'm coming for you. Still not totally used to the controls. I'll be honest, I'm still not used to the controls. But I'm getting there. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Prelude. Dang it. Good grief. Pull yourself together. Alright, slow it down. Eh, much better than the last time out. Much better.
Dang, a lot of the cars in this in this class are actually front drive Hondas. Whoa, I am so sorry, buddy. The car got a I, I don't know what that what that even was. That felt weird. That felt weird. The car just kind of lurched. I don't know if I got caught on like a rumble strip or something, but I don't know, man. But yeah, to that prelude, I am sorry, buddy. That was that was not what I wanted to do. But hopefully the GT purists in the comments will go easy on me since I haven't played a Gran Turismo game in like, ooh, I want to say upwards of four years. So, yeah, leave it in second, leave it in second, leave it in second. Oh, the tail's coming around a bit. Yes. I felt that. Oh, sliding a bit. Sliding just a little bit. Wow, way ahead of the pack. Let's actually switch up the view real quick. Whoa, didn't want to switch it up that much. I wanted to do the third person view. And surprisingly enough, where I'm not that good at third person in Forza, I'm... Oh, I thought we had another lap. I was going to show you guys a lap in third person. Um, I'll do the next race in third person. But, um... Even though I'm not that good at third person in Forza, I'm actually, I, I feel like I, I did third person um, more back when I originally played Gran Turismo, and when I came over to this game, I was trying third person out, and it felt so much more natural for some reason. Maybe that's just because I always played Forza in first person, um, but like, it's like different games work better for... Um, I don't know, not different games, uh, different views work better for me in different racing games, and for this game, it's both first person and third person. For Forza, it's mainly first person only, so it's kind of cool to, to have a game where you can kind of interchange views like that. And three stars, thank you. So many preludes, jeez. Uh, twinkle Twinkle for 25 stars. No, I didn't want to retry. God, I do that so much. I do that so much in this game, thinking that that's the, um, the, like, advance to the next screen button. But it's not. It's the retry button, and they put it in the wrong place. That's the one gripe I have about this game, is they put the, re the replay button or retry button in the worst possible place they could. The worst! Now, let's see. Let's go to, um... Let's go to the Roma circuit next, because I've never been here before, ever. Never, ever been here before, actually. But I'll be first to tell you guys, I am I am loving this game. I really am. I am not regretting it one bit. I am, I, I am absolutely loving it, not regretting it one bit. Uh, my decision to pick up a PS3 and GT6. Um, I mean, I, I, I feel like a couple of people... I told a couple of people, I was like, yeah, I... Um, I picked up a PS3 and GT6, and they were like, GT6 is the only game you picked up? Well, for now, it's the only game I have, although I have ordered um, another game just to, just to kind of play for fun, which is Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, which, um, like I said, that's a game that um, I bought just because I love, um, I love those kinds of games. I love those kinds of games, and it would be it's just kind of a nice, um, nice fun game to play when you're just feeling kind of chill, so... Um, I picked that up, which it hasn't come in yet, but it'll probably come in later this week. Um, as far as any racing games or any other racing games that I'm going to get for the PS3, um, possibly Initial D, um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I've actually played the arcade version of Initial D. There's actually a um, pretty... Whoa, sorry, Alpha Mito. There's actually a pretty big um, arcade in, uh, in my town. And they have a bunch of, uh, they have a bunch of, like, arcade machines in the driving section. And Initial D is one of them. And they have a racing seat and a wheel. And so I have a few, um, you know, a few races in on, uh, oh god, I plowed real wide. Um, I have a few races in on, um, in the Initial D arcade version. So, but I've never actually played it with a controller on a console. So I may actually pick up Initial D for the PS3. I'm not sure yet, but, um, we'll see, uh, we'll see when the time comes. Getting around this, I think it's M M one thirty five I. Breaking hard. This this circuit really reminds me of Grid two for some reason. I don't know what it is, but it just I don't know. It says Grid two to me. 
tower. Come on. Ooh, narrowly avoided that wall. Goodbye, Celica. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. Come on, give me that power. That's why I upgraded you, so I'd have more power. Come on. Come on, GT86. Oh, God, the front's banged up. Oh, dang. And I did that. I did that, and I hate... I hate doing that. Who's up next? A Peugeot? Yup, yup. Inside is not yours, buddy. Not today. It's mine. Oh, that's first? What? I didn't even realize that that was first. That's awesome. There we go. Had to e-brake it a little bit. And, oh, um, let me actually tell you guys. The smoke in this game is amazing. Coming from playing Forza for so long, the smoke is absolutely amazing. I... I can't say enough about the smoke in this game. It is so great. It is so great. And I will show you guys um, the smoke in a later video once I get a little better at drifting. Because I, I did a little bit of uh, drifting practice earlier, and I need a lot of work. So uh, I'll practice um, practice my drifting for you guys and uh, show you guys um, some of the amazing smoke that this game has to offer. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen videos with, you know, the smoke in it. But I just kind of want to show it from my point of view and just kind of like my reaction to it and my opinion on it because it's just so good. So good. And that is a win, my friends. And the best lap, I think. Or my best lap, at least. I'm not going to wait for everybody else to finish. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to keep going, you know. All right, let's go and proceed to the last race in this little series. Three stars, thank you. And all the way over to the exit button. Stupid exit button. Stupid, stupid spot for it, stupid. Next race, I believe, is at um, Silverstone. And we'll see in a second. Uh, and yes, it is. Yes, it is, I was right. I might end up going back and upgrading this car some more in the future, though, and I I, I don't know if I want to get another, um, I'll probably end up getting another GT86 or FRS uh, to build as a drift car, but I'll also, I think I'll probably also have um, maybe, uh, maybe a Sylvia, maybe something along those lines, I'm still not sure yet, or maybe something with a V8, um, possibly a, um, possibly an older American muscle car, like, um, like for, for example, a Camaro. Um, I love older Camaros, especially the, uh, first and second generation. First and second generation Camaros. Oh, my God. First and second generation Camaros are amazing. Amazing. You guys can't see the look on my face right now when I'm thinking about first and second generation Camaros. But, um, man, I absolutely adore those cars. Come on. Oh yeah, that's right. VTEC this, little Civic. VTEC this, buddy. Oh, oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Oop, I didn't listen to the racing line, and I probably should have. But I really like the graphics in this game. I really like the amount of, of options the game gives you, of, of things you can adjust. I mean, let me just show you real, real quick. Um, like, you go to quick options during the race, you can adjust everything, like the exposure, brightness, everything. Like, um, like for example, just put it up maybe by 0.1. And, I don't know if you can notice, I'll, I don't know if you'll notice 0.1 or not, but, I mean, maybe a little bit. I also like how the audio fades in again after you leave a menu. It's just like little details like that that are really, really nice, really, really cool. Uh, for a second there, I thought that 3000 GT was an NSX. I was like, are you kidding me? They put a, they put me up against an NSX already? Come on, come on, come on, yes. Oh, dang, he almost, he almost got my, uh, got my rear fender. You leave my rear fender alone.
trying to outbreak the breaking line. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes it's a terrible idea. A terrible idea. Nearly. Oh, nah. better than last time, but still not, still not the proper line. Still not the proper line. Well, by far, like it was, yeah, by far not the proper line. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Oh, dang, I'm plowing wide. I didn't follow the proper braking again. Ooh, there's that smoke. There's that smoke. We went a little bit sideways. There we go. There we go. Not bad. There's the finish. Come on. And boom. Across the line. Not bad. Not bad. Aside from that one corner. Aside from that one corner that was awful. Uh, aside from the awful corner, we um, we ended up coming out with a pretty good race. Already, I already, I already have uh, like uh, I've gotten a lot of my money back uh, from the upgrades I did. I got a lot of my money ba uh, back from that. I mean, the um, oh god, what was I gonna say? The uh. Um, they were a great investment, that's for sure. They were, they were an awesome investment, because I've already made all that, almost all of that money back. And yeah, that's all those complete. Alright! So, if you guys enjoyed my very first episode of Gran Turismo 6, and it feels so awesome to say that, because I've wanted to do this game for so long, I've wanted to play it for so long, and finally we're here... And um, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more GT6, Forza 5, uh, Spin Tires, and a bunch of other random PC simulators that I play from time to time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.